going on, everybody? Welcome back once again. It's me, Molt. Super stoked to be here with you guys today. We are playing some more Clash Royale. I've got a question for you real quick, okay? I want you to comment down below and think about some of the most iconic decks in Clash Royale that you remember over the years of it being around, whether that's Giant Bowler Poison, back when Poison had Slow on it, um, or whether that's uh, Splash Yard, or whether that's log bait or bridge spam all of these different things uh lava loon uh things like that think about some of the most iconic ones uh that you guys have seen in the past one of those to me is the knight uh princess goblin barrel inferno tower slash defense deck that one has been around for so long that it's it's i guess it's somewhat nostalgic but at the same time it's just like you guys really don't want to do anything new. Um, but at any rate, so on that lines, look at this. I made this new deck. I've really been enjoying the P.E.K.K.A. lately because a lot of people are rolling with like giants and golems. And um, beatdown is just absolutely insane. If they get the golem, like people can have zero elixir and just drop a golem at the bridge. And if you don't have a defense or a big heavy hitting thing, it's going to get to your tower and do a thousand damage easily. Um, and so that's one reason why I'm using the P.E.K.K.A. right now. And I made this deck and I actually have won one, two, three, four, five, six out of seven. And one of those was a draw. But look at these last two decks that I just faced. They're pretty much the exact same deck and I faced them in a row. We've got, um, <laughs> Princess, Knight, Log, Ice Spirit, Defensive Building, so Inferno or Tesla, uh, Goblin Barrel, and then, did I say Rocket already? I don't know if I said Rocket already. So this guy, the only differences are that he has Tesla instead of Inferno Tower and Guards instead of Gang. Uh, but check this out. So the deck that he has, we actually have, uh, we actually have a pretty big, pretty good counters for it because I've got Arrows and Log right now. It's so frustrating when people take out my uh, P.E.K.K.A. with like a minion horde or something and I don't have anything for it. So that's why I've got arrows in here. Also, with the log... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, with the log that I have... I don't, do I, uh, yes. I'm delirious. Sorry, it's early in the morning and I have a lot of videos to make because I'm going on vacation. Um, the log that this guy has... Uh, or whenever I use my log against someone's goblin barrel, they're like, oh nice, I'm gonna throw it. Oh great, he has arrows, or he's got bomber. Um, so that actually helps us out a good bit. Hey, remember when that bomber threw his bomb at the ice spirit and it was like, nah, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> so one thing that I love about this deck is that you can just send the, uh, royal ghost just out. You can just, he's a quick little easy push that you can drop on somebody, and if they don't do anything to him, it's gonna do a lot of damage to the tower. You can see that I got that to 1823. Um, watch this. I'm actually gonna log this knowing that he wants to goblin barrel and then we'll just go ahead and uh, Throw down our bomber down here easy sauce, and he's gonna do okay He's gonna drop off his guards to take out the princess Obviously the bomber is going to knock off all their shields And none of them are gonna get any shots and we're gonna be able to go ahead and send this in here um, I I've just been, I, I, I love this deck. I love this type of deck. It's a lot of fun. I don't know what that play was right there. Uh, we're going to keep this bomber alive, though, and watch this. He's actually going to come over here. That tower went from 1126 to 731. The bomber is nuts. This is an easy, that's, a, that's an easy get rid of that out of here. No problem whatsoever. Uh, so we have a really, really good counter to this deck. Even though he's got guards to take out our P.E.K.K.A., He's got the Tesla to take out the P.E.K.K.A. It's so easy to kite things uh, with the P.E.K.K.A. But for some reason, we're able to do a really good job here. We can drop off our Princess here. I thought he was going to go Guards right there, which is why I dropped off the Bomber. Um, but he's actually going to end up logging us right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and log as well. And he's probably like, yes, now's my chance. I can take out his whole tower. No, you can't. I've got arrows, big dog. Um, drop off our... Uh, Royal Ghost again. He's gonna go in Viz, and now we're kind of just hanging out, honestly, because I have an okay amount of direct damage for the tower, but we take it out. Uh, we almost take it out right there. We can log this. Uh, I just drop off my princess just to make sure that I'm safe. 
Why am I? I'm so congested this morning. I'm sorry. But even if, uh, even if we didn't have the log and the arrow damage here, we would be able to take this tower out easily. Because as you see, the princess goes, yay, right over the top. But we beat the same deck two games in a row. Uh, I'll show you some of the decks that we face. So that one right there that is super old school, this Mortar Hog deck, uh, which is... <laughs> Mortar Hog is such an annoying combo. Uh, Hog Cycle right there. Lava Loon. Are you joking that I beat Lava Loon with this deck when uh, I've got Ewiz, which can be Fireball, uh, as well as Archers. And then the only, and that's the only air D that we have. Princess is not going to do much direct damage at all. Uh, she does do a good job of taking out uh, minion hordes and whatnot. And then this weird freaking deck right here at the bottom, uh, which was hilarious. And then this minor tornado deck, uh, minor exo tornado. But we're going to hop back in here because we're doing, we're doing pretty good with this deck. Now, obviously, a lot of times, as you guys know, whenever I start recording, I start losing. Uh, it's pretty frustrating a lot of times, but I think what it is is because I don't just start recording out of nowhere. I have a deck that I like that I play with a little bit. Um, this is going to be really risky, but I'm going to go for it. And we're just going to hope. We're just going to hope. Wizard going in. Look at that. That ghost is going to do mad work right there. Oh, yeah. That's game over, y'all. One more hit. Heck yeah. Come on, baby. And we can actually just go ahead and do this. And we can go here and here. And he's going to go down. Well played. <laughs> Come on, no damage, no damage for the giant. Nice. He's going to have to get down another pump. Y'all, I, I think that's game. Okay. Giant Sparky. How old is this deck, man? Do I have my Ewiz in cycle? No, but I'm about to. We'll go ahead and go here. And I'm going to go... Yay! Go invisible. Thank you. Easy enough. Nice, that princess is in range. Yo, she's going to be so annoying over there. I can't wait. She's literally just going to be, like, working on that side this whole time. And he has to counter her. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I have arrows if I need them. And I'm actually going to head all the way back here. Look, look at that. Yes. <laughs> Princess. Shoot. What are you doing? You lunatic. I missed. I missed right there. I got to arrow this. You got to be joking me, man. I missed that log. That was not good. Watch this. Yes! Machine Gun Princess is for the win! <laughs> Get out of here. I can almost guarantee you that somebody commented Giant Sparky down below as one of those decks that's just been around. Okay? Clash Royale. I love your game. You know that. I've been playing it since beta. We need updates where there are three cards in every update if we want to see a change in this. And this is coming from a part of my heart, y'all, that is very nostalgic and loves this game so much. I know that it's hard to come up with a lot of cards. I know that it's hard to come up with a lot of new things. But the game will not progress if you don't just, like, give people an opportunity to progress it. Balance changes are one thing. Yeah, balance changes are good, but we need new content. We need new content. Balance changes aren't new content. Balance changes are updating old content. We need new content, and we need it frequently if we want to get back to the place where everybody's amped about the game. Um, at least that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion on it. 
Uh, let's hop back in here, see how we do it. We still haven't lost with this deck. I'm gonna knock on wood real quick, even though it's probably gonna make my dogs bark because they think that a stranger's coming into the house. But let me know how you guys feel about that. Like, the days when we used to get three new cards were literally the days when Royale was unstoppable. Royale was unstoppable for so long, y'all. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to sit my Royal Ghost all the way over here. I really wish that my Bomber wasn't going to go in first. Wow, that's uh, his log missed. Y'all, his log missed. Pekka, go home. The Pekka didn't get off a shot over there. That's what I was talking about with how the Pekka is literally just like so distractible. Look at this. Yo, that was nutty right there, y'all. The princess just did so much damage over there. I'm going to take my time here. The Mighty Bulge. Okay. Oh, he wanted to go again. Thanks, buddy. What is this weird freaking giant hog weird deck that I've never seen before? That tower is done. This tower is about to be done. Yo, those archers are just now hitting those minions. What the heck? Archers, do your job. Yay! Wow. I'm just sitting here wasting elixir. Watch this. Here comes the guards, machine gun princess. Oh, that was such a good fireball. Arrows. But I say he's gonna do an okay amount of damage over here, but we'll be fine. Yo, let's go. Let's freaking go. Yeah, I'm going to do the math on that real quick, okay? We're going to do the math on this real quick, all right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games, okay? And we've won eight of them. So we got to do eight divided by nine equals 80, 89%. 88888889. So 89% win rate on this deck. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. See you on the next one. Peace out.